Greetings, Star Wars fans. Today, I'm very pleased to bring you the Disney Elite Series premium action figure of Rey. Now, this was just released on November the 29th of this year, and uh, these new premium figures are above and beyond anything that I have ever seen. Uh, my first impression uh, of this figure is that it could really uh, compete with anything that Hot Toys or Sideshow has released. It's really that nice of an action figure. Now, unlike the standard Elite Series figures, uh, which are die-cast, the premium figures are made out of plastic. They're also slightly taller at 10 inches versus the 6 inches of the Elite Series figures. And, of course, you can see the display box is very, very nicely done. Uh, these are just a wonderful uh, collectible uh, to have. And if you're going to pick these up, I'd encourage you to at least pick up two. Uh, that way you've got one that you can display and one that you can put away. Um, you know, just looking at the figure itself, it, it's just remarkable. You know, I haven't seen anything this nice in a very long time. And uh, just really excited to have this in my collection. So let's get right to it. Uh, again, of course, you know, the, the packaging uh, is everything. You know, when you're looking at uh, a new collectible or toy with Star Wars. And Disney has done a phenomenal job uh, with the design of the packaging. Of course, you see the accessories included uh, are Luke's lightsaber. Uh, her staff comes in two different segments. She has her pouch on her side, but she also includes a backpack, uh, the uh, NN-14 blaster pistol given to her by Han Solo, and an extra set of hands uh, that are more adaptable for the uh, blaster versus the lightsaber. The back of the packaging, uh, very similar to other products, has your obligatory product shots and uh, just basically talks a little bit about uh, Lucasfilm and Disney collaborating uh, on the Star Wars uh, premium series figures. And uh, just really, really nicely done. I really love the slate gray color of the box uh, with the red insert. It's just a very nice uh, package to look at and very nice action figure. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pause the video and remove it from the packaging. We'll come back and see what it's all about. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back with the Disney Elite Series Premium Ray action figure. And I have to say, I am just totally blown away by the level of quality of this figure. This is the first time that I've had the figure outside of the packaging, and I love it. I mean, it, she is just really nicely done. Uh, 10 inches tall, 30 points of articulation. But more than that, the level of detailing and the sculpt and the mold... Uh, the detailing in her facial features, the, the symmetry of it, the symmetry of her eyes, the paint applications, the sheen of the gloss on her lips. I mean, it's phenomenal. The fabric they use for her hair. I mean, this is a really, really nice figure. I would buy these figures any day of the week uh, over Hot Toys or Sideshow stuff. I really would. They're that nice. The video doesn't do it justice. You would have to have this figure in hand uh, to be able to appreciate the level of quality that they've put into it. And I have to say hats off to Disney because they've done a phenomenal job. Uh, this is my favorite line to collect. You know, I really like the 6-inch Black Series figures. Uh, however, these figures are so much nicer. They really are. And, you know, for twice the amount of a Black Series figure, uh, you get something that's really, really nice. And if you haven't bought one of these, I would recommend buying two of them, one to collect and, and put away, and one to display and, and, you know, that sort of thing. So one of the first things I want to do is I want to point out uh, the different features of the action figure. Her boots, of course, are molded uh, plastic onto the, uh, onto the doll itself. And, of course, uh, this is really nice cloth that they use for her tunic and her trousers and, and the tabard here. And I don't know if you guys have ever thought about this, but the design of the tabard, on the Black Series figure, I cut it off just below the waist because it's really reminiscent of uh, a Jedi tabard. And I kind of feel like that's maybe what the the designers in, in The Force Awakens were going for. They wanted to kind of bridge that connection between Rey and, and the Jedi Order, maybe, and that's why they, they gave her uh, that type of appearance. Her arm wraps, of course, are fabric, really nicely done. Uh, the belt and the uh, pouch over here are molded rubber, and they have a little connector right here. 
you can see that you know hair has nice fabric to it and she has the triple buns back there this piece is kind of a molded plastic i would think and it has velcro closure on it where it can be taken off and of course her outfit uh has velcro on the back of it here and velcro back here on her trousers uh, where you could change her outfit if you so desire to do so and i like how it has that nice uh cut right here that that v shape to it which is really screen accurate just a very very nice figure and you can see the level of detail uh there in her uh in her head sculpt and her eyes they're very symmetrical uh the sheen of the gloss on her lips just really nice really nice figure uh, if you're a guy and you always wanted a baby doll well this is the one to get <laughs> so uh the 30 points of articulation, one of the nice things about this is the, the head and neck are on a ball joint with a full range of motion. Uh, double jointed torso yeah, uh, with twist at the waist, but full range of motion. Uh, shoulders have a full range of motion here. Double jointed elbows, double jointed wrist. Her legs are double jointed at the hip double jointed knees, her ankles of course, uh, full range of motion on that ball joint, of course that toe joint right here, uh, which is really nice. And again, uh, this belt has this little piece that pushes in to, uh, to hold the belt in place. And you kind of have to pull the belt off and, and push it in to get it to stay. But it's just a really, really nice figure. And of course, she includes Luke's lightsaber, uh, which is screen accurate with the colors and everything. Really nicely done. One of the things that I want to say about this figure is the number of ties and little plastic fasteners that were used to hold it in place inside this tray. Uh, I have not seen a figure ever with that many ties and attachments to it. The closest thing that is reminiscent is that legendary Master Yoda that was released last year that everyone had so much fun uh, freeing from that plastic cage. Uh, this is twice as bad. Her ankles and, and legs had two ties apiece. Her arm had two ties apiece. There's a waist tie that goes around her waist that you actually have to open her tunic to free her from. There's even a tie that goes through her hair. And I used an X-Acto to snap all of these things loose. I would just say be extremely careful in doing so so that you don't cut the figure. I left these accessories in the packaging because I plan to place her back in here while I'm through with the video. Uh, her staff is in two separate pieces here. She has a molded plastic backpack here. The NN14 uh, blast that Han Solo gives her, uh, as well as an extra set of hands. Now, these hands are the ones that you want to use for the lightsaber. Uh, they have a more close grip on them versus these two. Um, however, you can display her the way that I had uh, the lightsaber in this hand. Her fingers are close enough, and they're that soft type of, of plastic that you can just kind of open up a little bit and, and slide the lightsaber into and her thumb will hold it in place like so. Um, but just a really, really nice action figure and really nicely done. And, you know, I just can't say enough good things about it. I'm really, really glad that I got this figure. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Disney Elite Series Premium Ray action figure. Uh, if you haven't picked this one up, uh, I'd encourage you to do so. Uh, this one was released actually on November the 29th. Uh, I think with Kylo Ren and on the 16th of December they released Jen and Princess Leia and I want to say there's a couple others uh, I think there were three released in each wave uh, but you can check DisneyStore.com or if you're near a physical Disney store they're gonna have these inside of them uh, so ladies and gentlemen thank you for taking the time to watch my video uh, Big shout out to all of my subscribers. If you don't subscribe to my channel, please do so. Love to have you as part of the family. Uh, feel free to leave your comments or questions below the video. Uh, I've got a lot more video reviews coming uh, as products are released and 
uh, I'm able to uh, to get them. I uh, also have a uh, Facebook page called Orion's Belt Creations, which I showcase all of my customized Star Wars vehicles. I uh, also talk about other uh, science fiction franchises and genres, so forth. But if you're interested in any of the vehicles on commission, you can email me directly at Creations at Outlook.com or you can just message me on Messenger and uh, I'll accept your message and uh, have a lot of fun doing that. Uh, especially with repaints and that sort of thing. I'm also a contributing columnist for Outer Rim News. Outer Rim News is one of the leading Star Wars news sites today with over 18,000 followers and subscribers. Everything from commentaries to collectibles to comics to video games to the live action films, the animated series, you name it, we cover. Outer Rim News is your one-stop source for everything Star Wars. Check us out on the internet, our Facebook presence, uh, subscribe to our uh, podcast. Outer Rim News has it all. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching the video review. Stay tuned. There's more to come. May the Force be with you.